Hello, I'm Nariman Farvardin, President of Stevens Institute of Technology. I'm pleased to join you again to give you an update on some of the most important activities and developments at Stevens during the spring 2017 semester. After extensive searches, we have added two outstanding individuals to the leadership team. Mr. Warren Petty joined Stevens as Vice President for Human Resources. With over 20 years of human capital and talent management experience within higher education and nonprofit organizations. Dr. Jean Zhu joined the university as Dean of the Schaefer School of Engineering and Science. She is an accomplished scholar and academic administrator with expertise in areas of mechanical vibrations and dynamics and mechatronics. Our campus construction projects are in full swing, having completed and fully occupied the ABS Engineering Center last semester. The construction of North Building is just about complete. This space will initially house the Computer Science Department to allow for the demolition of the LEAP Building and construction of our major new academic center. Also, construction of the expansion of the Babio Garage, adding 266 new parking spaces has begun with projected completion in the first quarter of 2018. The university's finances continue to improve as manifested by the upgrade in our credit rating. Standard & Poor's raised its bond rating of Stevens from triple B plus with a positive outlook to A minus with a stable outlook. Moody's affirmed the current BAA2 rating but upgraded its outlook from stable to positive. Our graduates did extremely well in the job market. The average accepted salary of our graduates is nearly $70,000, 2.8% over last year, and a whopping $20,000 above the national average of starting salaries. We also had a number of very successful events that are worth highlighting. As part of the highly successful President's Distinguished Lecture Series, Dr. Peter Norvik, Director of Research at Google, gave a fascinating talk on artificial intelligence and machine learning. Dr. Norvik was the first recipient of the President's Medal in recognition of significant impact of his work on society. Over 400 alumni, students, faculty, staff, and friends joined together at the Plaza Hotel at the Stevens Award Gala to celebrate Stevens Institute of Technology and the accomplishments of some of its most exceptional alumni and friends in engineering, entrepreneurship, and more. The event was emceed by WNBC meteorologist Chris Semino, and 11 awards were presented to honor our talented and devoted alumni and friends for their outstanding impact and accomplishments. The annual Innovation Expo showcasing groundbreaking student and faculty research was held on May 3rd. Projects ranged from defense and security to energy, healthcare and wellness, infrastructure and sustainable systems, entertainment, new products, and new services. The Thomas H. Scholl Lecture by Visiting Entrepreneurs was delivered by Mr. Tim Urban, author of Wait But Why, and his talk was entitled The Cook and the Chef what we can learn from how Elon Musk thinks. We also had our elevator pitch competition that was most exciting, and these projects ranged from a better way to measure and report brain changes in real time, to a solar-powered water purification system, to a post-operative knee rotation measurement device. We concluded the spring semester with beautiful commencement ceremonies at the Meadowlands Exposition Center. More than 1,500 students received master's and PhD degrees. At the undergraduate level, we had more than 600 degrees awarded. Finally, we had our alumni weekend, where alumni participated in a whole host of activities, and I'm pleased to report we received some very significant gifts, specifically class of 1967, presented a $1.7 million gift. Class of 1952 presented a $1.6 million gift. And we also had a sizable gift from the class of 1957. So let me wrap up by thanking all of you, uh, faculty, staff, students, alumni, friends and supporters of the university for your contributions in making this university the vibrant organization that it is and in making all of our achievements possible. Until next time, I wish you a wonderful and most enjoyable summer.